Hi traders, welcome back to a new Sierra chart guide tutorial. So this is going to be part of my ongoing series which you can check down in the pinned comment. I have a link for my entire playlist of Sierra chart tutorials. And in this one we're going to be talking about how you can overlay a delta and a volume on the footprint. I mean you can actually overlay a lot of different things, a lot of different data. But this is the two things that I always like to have on. And I'm going to show you if we go here into Sierra chart. This is just the basic footprint chart. And we got this is the SP 500. We got bid by ask. And then we have the data numbers at the bottom. We have delta, cumulative delta for the day and volume. So. I'm going to show you how we can go from this into this. So you can see how now this looks really nice because now we have the data from below, but we're now displaying it directly. All the deltas are going to be displayed in this case on top of each bar, positive for positive deltas obviously more bullish and then negative for bearish deltas and then the volumes here you can see the volumes are overlaid at the bottom of each candlestick okay this is on the regular basic footprint setup and then also we have the footprint that i like to use myself which is with a candlestick overlay Again, all these templates, I have them available on my website as well. They're very affordable. I have a Sierra Chartbook web store. If you just want to save yourself all the hassle and the time of programming this yourself, you can just go and grab yourself all these templates already made there through the link on my website below price action volume trader.com you'll see it on the top and then this is a footprint with an overlay of a candlestick i already have tutorials here on youtube on how i did this and we can go from this into this and you can see how this looks again very nice because you got your candlesticks and then you got your overlays this is customizable you know you can push these numbers up further up or down so they're not as close to the candlestick etc but i'm going to show you in this video very easily how you can achieve this okay so let's just start with the basic uh candlestick um the basic footprint chart without the overlay just with the outlines and basically what we're going to do is we're going to put in a study or indicator that Sierra chart has where it's going to take the data from the numbers here at the bottom and just overlay it on top of the candlesticks. So for that, if we go into studies, you can see I just have basic things on this i just got a countdown timer the price line then i have the numbers bar study which this is basically the footprint chart study on sierra chart and then i have one that's called number bars calculated values which i just called numbers bottom and that's going to be basically all these values down here you can see i have delta cumulative delta for the day and total candle volume but you can add or subtract different datas for this for me this three are the most basic that i always like to have so what we're going to do is on the left side here under the list of all the studies you're going to look for one that is called study subgraph above below bar as text you're going to highlight it you're going to click add this is going to bring in the settings. So now we're just going to start placing in the settings. Input study subgraph. So you click here. And now it's going to give you a list of the studies you already have applied. We're going to select, well, what I like to call numbers bottom. So that means that it's going to be referencing this data down here. Okay. After you select that, you have a list of all the different options and data points you can select 
even if you don't have them displayed here, this is all the options that you could display. So you can see Sierra Chart just has a ton of capability. But let's choose um, volume, total volume. We're going to start at the bottom. Okay. Now, location. I'm used to always putting it at the bottom of the bar. Offset and ticks. Let's put two. That's just going to be how the, how far away is going to be. And then we click apply and you can see it came out here. So we cannot really see it a lot yet because the colors are not very bright. So if we go to subgraphs now, you can see on the reference, it's like at a very light orange. I'm going to choose black okay and i click apply and now we have the total volumes displayed here normally i like to take this off just because it's going to take off all these numbers here at the top of the chart that for me all these letters and stuff that for me just are just in the way and then you can see now that we got the volumes at the bottom of every candlestick, okay, of every footprint candlestick bar. Now, one thing I don't like is that they're all displaying the number with two decimal points. So in order to get rid of those, we go back to the settings for this study. And under settings and inputs where it says value format, you're just going to put large integer with suffix apply it, and there you have it and you can also change the size here under subgraphs you can make it bigger if you want and right there you have your volume values that were on the bottom here now you have them all overlaid underneath each candlestick so it's just so much easier to see this instead of having to try to read all the numbers at the bottom of the screen below each candlestick on its own and now for the delta we basically do almost the exact same process we go to studies study subgraph above below add oh one thing to note um, here, I like to give custom names to things just so it's easier to reference. So where it says short name, I'm just going to put vol overlay apply. So now if I go into my list of indicators, you can see it just says vol overlay. So I'm going to select this new one that we applied. You can see it's just some plain number that we haven't uh, still uh, customized so we're gonna put here settings so a short name I'm gonna put Delta overlay value format I'm gonna put it latch integer with suffix because we know that's what we want now here we're gonna reference again the numbers on the bottom that's the name that I gave it to this indicator and then here we're gonna select the first one Delta as volume bid volume difference okay now offset in ticks we're gonna hold go ahead and just put two we're gonna click apply so now you can see we have the numbers now we need to change the coloring of them so we go into subgraph. I'll take these things off again. And then as far as colors, here we're going to have either positive or negative delta. So what I want to do over here is I'm going to leave here custom value at Y. But then under auto coloring, it says none. I'm going to put it based on plus minus. And I'm going to put green for plus red for minus apply and you can see right now we have here delta I'm gonna make it 14 the size apply 
and there you have it now you have a footprint chart with an overlay on top of the delta of each candle which is referencing this numbers here directly as you can see and we're going to have negative red for the bearish deltas and green bullish for the positive deltas obviously you can customize that however way you want okay and you know same thing can be done on this once again you can just follow the same steps and just get it looking like this okay this is how it would look here on this footprint chart with the candlestick overlay and our deltas on top and our volumes on the bottom following the same process okay and again remember all these templates if you want to save yourself the time and everything you can go to my website to the sierra chartbook store and just look at all these files they're very affordable or you can build your own following my tutorials that i'm going to put in the pinned comment below that i've shared here on youtube for free with everyone okay hope you're having a great day and i will see you all in the next video take care